others have probably prepared Codlac's funeral by now. Come up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. Glory of the dead. You're someone who can get things done. I like to. I'm sure it's just one of those glitches, those funny glitches. I should attend the funeral for Cadillac White Man, uh, the late harbinger of the Companions. Who will start? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. This loss, we, we weep. weep. We weep. For the fallen, we, we shout. shout. And for ourselves, we, we take, take our leave. His spirit is departed. Members of the circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Uh, I return them with honor. Don't get too flowery on me, lass. Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Uh, it will, uh okay. Thank you. I'll be here. And look who showed up. All the companions. Dead, and then uh, the priestess of Kenora. Leave me. Uh, the Yao, his steward, and of course, all the companions. I said that. Including the technically non companions, basically. Yeah, these are the three I was talking about. You can't marry because they're not spouses. But this, this, this guy, those two girls, that guy, the, and the members of the circle, they're all available for. Our spouses when the companion storyline's over. Well, I normally go for Fergus or Vergus because I like them the most. Now, in the drawer where the last fragment piece is, is also Cobbleck's journal. It's a bit long, but I'll read it for you anyway. Sip of my drink first before I do this. Oh, 
wanted to read it, not pick it up. Well, I was gonna pick it up here too, but it's still. In my dream, I see the line of arbiters start with Yogasker. Each of them ascending to Southern Guard. Until we come to Trophy? Tro tro who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Southern Guard, but before he can he even approach a Tuscan, a he is set upon a by a great wolf. Who pulls him into the hunting grounds while his singer laughs with welcoming arms. Uh, Tersinger seems regretful, re resentful, but also eager to join his singer after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next harbinger turn away from Southern Guard and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord until it comes to me and I see Greg Tyson on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice and then at my side a stranger I had never not seen before. As I look into her eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away uh, Tarink, Tarak, I don't know how to pronounce that, and she and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strange, but a strong enough dream to ensure Fire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be some be a, a, of so it must be of some import impact import I guess. I spoke to my I spoken my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part about the stranger, lest cure worry. I will no longer seek his counsel, and I was not surprised to see them torn by it. Skrull and El El are strong with in the ways of the beast, and even seem to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife, if it were truly a choice. Vergus seems not Seem, seems seemed most troubled. The boy is a fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart's fire burns too brightly to uh, too brightly at times. Uh, he felt discouraged, and I don't blame him. Fergus, I don't know. Uh, what to think, but I believe he will come around with me and his brother eventually. He usually does. Uh, I don't know what to do about Skrull and Elena. I know they respect the companions and me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortunately, Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday, Vergus was telling me how difficult it had been for him to give up his transformations until he can until we can pursue a true cure the twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood for me it's proven uh, pro proved a clearer head but Vergus seems to be suffering a bit for it. Fergus seems completely untroubled. That uh, boy continues to amaze with his fort, fort, 
New, I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, while Virgus was confiding through the shadows of Yobasker, I saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our numbers. It was the stranger from my dream, the one who would stand with me against the beast. Virgus began speaking uh, ordinary, uh, but not wishing to air our problems in front of our guest, and I had to be doubly cautious to not reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vergus. I don't know how the politicians deal with such with these deal with these such sorts of uh, mm, I'm not sure what, how you pronounce that daily. In any case I sent Vergus to test the newcomer. We uh, see if she is truly the great warrior I dreamt of. <coughs> Whoa. Then this newcomer, it seems, is made of dirt stock. She calls herself Rose and has already impressed some of the circle with her metal. I still keep my own counsel on her place in my dreams for now. Let us see what kind of destiny she is carving before hat hatching uh, to her. Hatching to her. Uh, and this is actually pretty much the only place where your name is actually said or if someone actually says your name or writes it, I guess. As far as I know, this is the only place where you actually can see someone actually mention your name. Most of the time it's like, hey, you, or Dragonborn, or whatever race you chose, or something like that. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and con transitory. Uh, I don't wish to enrage any wizardry on this matter, but I fear they may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It, it's a uh, parent to me now that turf performance choice to turn us into uh, turn us was indeed a mistake. Mag uh, magics and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirits of the companions. We face our problems directly without the need of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the truth path, the true path of Yobaska before the rot takes me. Rose continues to impress. I don't know yet where she will stand on the question of the blood, but the question has not been presented yet. She does know that we carry the beast's blood and appears curious about it. Soon enough, I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what role she will play. I'm amazed that Aelia thinks she can keep a secret among the, this drunken rubble, especially with the loss of Skior. My heart aches. Emotions are furry, and the walls of deception are the first to fall. Uh, discrimination, sorry. I think, 
I think that's right. Uh, apparently, she and Rose are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand in retaliation for Skira's death. Their hearts are noble, but the cause of revenge is running hot, and I fear the counterstrike that may come if they do not rein their fury. Rose shows valor, though even in the this more underhanded time, we have not had cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for her destiny as I realize that her appearance in my dreams may indeed mark her as the harbinger to succeed me. I have because so few received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I have learned to trust them. I have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart, which tells me that Rose can carry the companion's legacy as truly as any res resigning in your basket, especially with the loss of school. Ella is to sociality. Fergus is too fury and Fergus too kind-hearted. Only Rose stands as a true warrior who can keep a still mind amongst these burning hearts. I will not speak to her of any of this, though. It is too much to burn another with. My hope is that she and I can keep counsel over the coming years, that I can impart the wisdom of the harbingers, all things in time. Firstly, I will seek her assistance in the matter of the witches of uh, Glamour. Uh, it would appear that our path to the cure is not without some poetic justice for the trickers who first cursed us. And that's where the journal ends. Wow, that was a mouthful. Your basker for as long as I can remember. Man, that was that was like wow. <laughs> that was a lot of reading. Shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. 